Hey you guys, it's Peter! And welcome to my channel, Peter Max Books. Oh my god, are you guys doing emoji a thon? I am so loving emoji a thon, but I'm gonna do an update video later in the week. So I'm not gonna do that right now. Anyway, I've been missing for a few days. Um, I've been trying to catch up on some books. I just finished the uh, Pecan Man by Cassie Dangerous Selleck. It was amazing. I'm gonna do a full review on that, so I'm gonna talk about that. But first and foremost, I wanted to do a book haul. And I've been so excited because I've waited so long to do a book haul on my channel. And I think I'm gonna do a whole separate Audible book haul because I just literally went through and bought like 20 book hauls and somebody also gifted me a book on Audible. And then I am going to do a whole library book haul because I have a bunch of books from the library. But first and foremost, I just wanna get right into this, okay? Oh my lord, can I come over here? We have a special guest with us today. It's Pee Pee the Flying Chihuahua. I don't think Pee Pee feels very good today. He's been sleeping all day. First and foremost, I want to show you this because I think this is such a cool idea. So my aunt, if you don't know, she passed away three weeks ago. And my cousin um, just gave me Kathy's cookbook. And she had just had these put together. And I know like nobody's going to go buy this. Obviously, you can't buy it. But it says on the back, the world famous recipes are gathered together from all of Kathy's family and friends and are collected in this book. And what's so funny is that for years and years and years, like I would say to my Aunt Kathy, like, are we having so-and-so stuffing for, you know, Thanksgiving? She'd say, oh yes, and whatever, or so-and-so's deviled eggs. Well, they're all in here, and I'm so excited. And uh, my cousin had had these made and put together, um, like liter literally with table contents and everything, like a week before my aunt died. So I just thought that was such a cool idea. I think if you guys should think about that and pass down family traditions and recipes. I think it's a cool idea. So anyway, the first book that I'm gonna talk about, I'm actually gonna be reading for Emojiathon. And um, I was so excited, so excited to get it. And I almost bought it on Audible and listened to it. But I thought, no, Peter, I want to read the book because I love uh, More Happy Than Not. And that is History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. Everybody's talking about this on the internet. Everybody's talking about this on BookTube. Everybody's talking about this on Bookstagram. So I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It's his next book. His last book, More Happy Than Not, came out two years ago, I think. I just finished reading it. I have a full review on my channel. I'm so excited to read this. Okay. The next book is, and I'm also reading this for Emojiathon. I'm gonna think I'm gonna read it for the book to read, like I'm trying to do more than just four challenges. Um, read a book in 24 hours, and I'm rereading. This is a reread, and I rarely ever reread books, but I haven't reread a book in a very long time. Um, and this, that is Perks of Being a Wallflower by Ch Stephen Chbosky. I may have put this in my last book haul, but I don't think so. And I honestly just wanted to own a copy of it. I couldn't find a copy anywhere. I did not want the movie copy of it, but that was the only copy that I could find. So, anyway. Then the next thing I wanted to say was like, I have so many books in the library, or the library, in the basement, that every once in a while I go down there, and I think this was a book that I actually got, like, at a, at the bookstore in Chicago when I was there, like, really cool bookstore that I did the whole, like, review on and everything like that, but I got Stephen King's The Colorado Kid, and it's like an old, uh, like, mystery, and I'm like, I love to read these, like, old, uh, pulp novel. They remind me so much of my grandma, and she would, like, smoke Salem's just one after another and drink coffee and read these books, so I'm, like, so excited to read this. So, yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna read that yet. But, my favorite horror suspense novelist of all time, Richard Lehman, you guys know, I have been looking for his books everywhere. I found Beware, which I've never read of his, and I found Friday Night in the Beast House. I've actually read Beast House. I loved it. And um, it also includes the bonus novella, The Wilds, which I've never read. And it also, in the back of this book, has like five of his books, Cuts, Dark Mountain, like some of these books that I've never read before. And I was like, oh my God. So I'm going to read those right away. I'm really excited about that. Then another book I got, which this is like a gay uh, or LGBT YA book. I have never heard of this book. I looked it up on Goodreads. It has very few reviews. I've never heard of it. And it's called Peter by Kate Walker. And I'm really excited to read it because obviously it's about me. And it's about this guy. And he's just about this. He has a dream about a guy. I think it's an English book because he's talking about, I had a dream about him. I said, the camp bloke. Yeah, last night I dreamed that he came into my room and sat on my bed. And Tony's eyes got wider, wider than usual. He talked about lawnmowers. And that's it. He just talked. Okay, so it's just like coming of age story. I think it looks very sweet. Then, I got Dragon Springs Road by Jamie Chang in my Muse box. I did a Muse box unboxing, so if you want to see all about this book, I'm real excited about it, go look at my Muse box unboxing. And then, okay, so I have in here the card for who sent me this, so I think that it, 
I think it's from, I don't know, do they inscribe it? Oh, they did. It's from Marianne and her daughter. And I think it's her daughter. Marianne's daughter is the one that did this picture that I'm using for my vlog channel. And they sent me Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters, which I have never read any of these, like, funny, like, um, Pride and Prejudice or Pride and Vampires or Pride and what other. I've never read any of this. So I'm really excited about this. I don't know anything about it. Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters expands the original text. Uh, the be beloved Jane Austen novel with all new scenes of giant lobsters rampaging octopi, two-headed sea serpents, and other biological monstrosities. I think it sounds real cute. So, yeah, I'm excited about reading that. And I love that she inscribed the book so much. Wasn't that awesome? All right. Then, I just went to Half Price Books. I'm super excited about these. A lot of these I have never heard of before, okay? So the first book I got was called Clean, and it's by Amy Reed, author of Beautiful. I've never heard of Beautiful either. You guys know that I cannot stand... Price tags on books. But anyway, it's about a bunch of kids that are in a drug treatment center, and I used to work in a drug treatment center, drug and alcohol treatment center, so I was like, you know what? I think this sounds like the perfect book for Peter, don't you? So yeah, I was real excited about that. Clean. Which I will tell you one of the things that was interesting in one of these books. So I got that one. And then the second book that I got... <laughs> I should have just taken all these price tags. You guys think I'm a little bit more organized than that? Whew! The Vast Fields of Ordinary by Nick Bird. Bold, engaging, heartbreaking, said Ellen Hopkins, who I absolutely love, right? What is so funny is, I paid $7.99 for this book. On the back here at Ollie's, it says $2.29. So I actually, Half Price Books actually upgraded this book. And it says, it's Dave's last summer at home in the suburban wasteland, and things are pretty hopeless. He has a crappy job, a boyfriend who treats him like dirt, and his parents' marriage is falling apart. So when he meets the mysterious Alex Kincaid, Dade feels as if he's finally experienced true happiness. But love, real love has its consequences, and its power soon sets in motion a tra tragic event of a, tra ugh, ugh, a tragic chain of events that will change Dade's life forever. Winner of the ALA Stonewall Book Award, a New York Times notable book, and Kirkus Reviews Best Book. When did this come out? I have never heard of it. Never in a million years have I ever heard of this book. And then underneath here, it has other books you made. 2009. Never heard of it. So I'm real excited about that. And then I also got... Now, you guys ever read, like, Go Ask Alice? I love those anonymous books, but they just really aren't really diaries. We know that, right? Like, I'm not killing the magic for you, but there's, like, no really Lucy, okay? Like, Lucy in the Sky of Diamonds is, like, or in the Sky is a reference to, like, LSD. So, you know, this is going to be about a girl that has, like, a drug and alcohol problem. So, it's really, November 20th, I wish I'd never done any of it, and it's not because it made me feel so bad, it's because it made me feel so good. Anyway, it can happen to anyone. There are these books, it's like, it happened to Jay and all these books, and it's like, they're life lesson books that are supposed to teach you, like, not to do things. Like, Jay, oh, Jay's Journal is what it's called, and that's about the occult. Go Ask Alice may be true, but it's by Anonymous, so you never know. It's like, supposedly they found her journal after she died from an overdose. Did you ever see the movie? The movie's from the 70s. It's real tragic. She's in that closet, and the little baby, she's supposed to be babysitting. She got, like, a hit of acid because somebody put her acid in her coke, and she's, like, trying to get out of that closet. And, Please let me out! It's like, the movie's too much. Too much, too much! Right? But the book, I love it. And these are real fast reads. <laughs> I've lost my mind. These are real fast reads. See, some of these journal entries are so short, you might even ask yourself, why keep a journal? I don't know. But Lucy knows, and I'm going to find out. Okay. Then the last book. <laughs> I just spray. I just went and cleaned this entire house, okay? I was so proud of myself. My camera went in charge. And I, uh, so I went and I like did everything and we, I used apple cinnamon to spray and it's like, it totally smells like I'm living in a kitchen right now. Oh, someone's in the kitchen with Dina. Okay. And the next book I got was called Lost and Found by Brooke Davis. It's about a seven year old girl that go, her mom goes missing and she can't find her and she finds these like 80 year old, 70 year old couple. And so they help her find her mom and they go on a road trip. Doesn't that sound cute? Who wouldn't want to read a road trip story? Me. Okay. Then the last book that I got I have seen these books in the YA sections at Half Price Books forever. I've never really heard anybody talk about them on book two, probably because they totally suck. And that is TTYL by Lauren Miracle. Oh, Lauren Miracle, didn't she do, like, she wrote part of that John Green book, and then she was also in Summer Days and Summer Nights. Is that her? Like, she, okay, so Lauren Miracle, she, okay. The Runaway bestseller now in the runaway bestseller, okay? Now, you know I love books that truly tell teenagers how they are, right? But this is about 10th grade between these girls, and it's all done through text messages, same? Okay, so I just was perusing through this book on each book, right? As I, after I got it home. Anyway, it doesn't matter how many secret handshakes pop up, because we'll always have each other, unlike Susie Smith. Did you hear? 
All summer, she hung out with Catherine and Lee at the Piedmont Driving Club, but now that school started, Lee and Catherine have totally dumped her. What a pisser. Susie must have been heartbroken. Come on, it would suck to have your friends drop you like that. Leah's had a blog on girl.com and supposedly she posted an entire story about how Susie needs to shave her pubes. Isn't that awful? Have you read it? Not yet, but I will. My brother's new girlfriend doesn't have shave her pits or her pubes. He brought her to this family party at Lake Lanier last weekend and she wore a bikini. That's sick. It was basically like she had a pelt. The pops pulled me aside and said in this really loud whisper, guess she forgot to mow the lawn, huh? Sick. He was drank of, drunk, of course. I could never not shave my pubes. That is just gross. But even if I did have a pubic hair problem, which I do not, you and Zoe would still love me, right? Hmm. I just mean we would never turn on each other for something stupid. No, just for something unstupid. Seriously, why did I pay $5 for that piece of trash? Trifling. Anyway, so I am excited about my other books, so right there. Have you guys read TTYL? Oh my God, is it so hot and juicy? Pelt, pelt. Okay, basically her saying that, that her dad said that is real sick, okay? So I probably wouldn't recommend that book. Anyway. All right, you guys. I love you. Follow me on all my social medias. That's my huge book call. And I'm going to do another one like in two days because I love book calls. So anyway. Oh my god. Like I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Uh, follow me on all my social media because I just said that and subscribe to my channel and please hit the notification button. Bling. That way when the bell goes off you'll know sexy Peter is back. Talk to you later. Bye.